Hello, this is the next video in a playlist and I'm calling Combinatorial Results. This is part four of a little mini-series I'm doing on Kino Lottery. In this video, we're going to look at Kino Double Bullseye. In the first video, we looked at Kino Multiplier when the multiplier is not selected. Part two was when the multiplier was selected. Part three was the bullseye. And here we're going to look at the double bullseye. We're also going to show you the formulas that we use to derive these probabilities. Quick how to play. You choose double bullseye to play. Now, when you play double bullseye, it's an additional $2 per $1 bet. So if you bet $1, it's $3. If you bet $2, it is $6 to play double bullseye. You select 10 numbers, which they call spots, up to 10 spots. How many games do you want to play on a ticket and how much do you want to bet per game? Then the computer randomly chooses a multiplier, and that's if you choose the Kino multiplier game. It then chooses 20 numbers without replacement from 1 to 20. Two bullseyes from those 20 numbers are picked, a red and a green. And then money is awarded based on the number of matches out of N spots you pick money per game you bet, the multiplier, and the progressive jackpot bonus. So in this video, in this one, we're going to look at the double bullseye. But I have to show you the prizes for the Kino multiplier game because these are also in effect when you play double bullseye. Now, I'm also going to point out the probabilities for Kino multiplier because these are the probabilities, say if you play a 10-spot game, that you match four out of your 10 against the 20 randomly numbers picked by the computer. And then when you play the bullseye and the double bullseye game, this probability is split into more probabilities. So, but they sum to this. So I'm going to pick out four with the 10 spot. It's 1473. Then this will be split into if you match both bullseyes, if you match one bullseye or match no bullseye, then those will sum to that 1473. So let's go to the double bullseye section. And these are the prizes. Oh, there's also prizes if you match one bullseye, and that's in the Kino bullseye game. So these right here, I kind of forwarded back up. These are the Kino bullseye award. So if you match one bullseye, Notice that for every any if you match a bullseye, you get a prize. And then there's additional prize for if you match both bullseyes, and that's this table here. Notice that there's zeros for zero and one matches because if you only have one match, you can't win you can't match two bullseyes. Right? So it's it's a zero probability. But then if you match both bullseyes, you automatically win. And look at this. One million dollar prize if you match a 10 out of a 10 on your 10 spot. So you might ask, what are the probabilities of seeing one bullseye? Now, when you're playing double bullseye, one bullseye means you match the red or you match the green bullseye. And of course, two bullseyes, you have to match both of them. And these are the formulas here. This is for the one bullseye. And actually, the two out front that's not highlighted here is because it's times two. You could match the red one and not the green, or match the green and not the red. And those probabilities are the same, so you take it times two, and that's what the two out front. And here's the probability if you match both bullseyes, right? You have in you chose n numbers. And it's, so it's n out of 80. And then the probably you match the second bullseye is n minus 1 out of 79. And that's what's going on here. The n over 80 is you match one bullseye. And then there's 79 minus n plus 1 ways to not match the second bullseye. Um, these are, you know, it's not a big chance. 10 spot, as you have a 22% chance of matching one bullseye. And then it goes down to... Um, very slim. So now the probability of these matches are these. So remember that for each game, there's three scenarios. And then I'm going to call them no bull, one bull, and two bull. So for the 10 spot game, the probabilities of a certain match and, and 
matching two bullseyes are these and those are all pretty pretty small the probability of matching one bullseye are these and the probability of a match and no bullseyes are these but notice if we add these three numbers and that that was the 14 was it 73 those three numbers add to to that 1472 or whatever it was I'd have to go back and look and here are the probabilities for a nine spot and an eight spot game and then the prizes are awarded based upon where you land in this now the other probabilities here are the probabilities for a five spot six spot and seven spot game and I'm really not going to cover them I'm just kind of pausing if you want to pause the video and study those here's four three and two spot games now here's the one spot game and I almost didn't put it up but I did but notice there's no chance that you can match both bullseyes in a one spot game so you might ask why would you even play double bullseye with only picking one number and the answer is that you still win for when you match and don't match a bullseye and then you also still win when you match one bullseye but this probability is greater because you have two bullseyes that you could possibly match on and so you have the awards based upon it now this is the table that I find interesting this is the expected awards so remember it's a, this is the expected awards for a, a one dollar game which means it's three dollars total because you're playing double bullseye and it's an additional two dollars for every one dollar you bet and notice now let's not look at the one spot nine or ten yet or, or I guess a seven spot too but they're all roughly a dollar eighty except for uh, three of them and why is that important well if it that means for every three dollars you spend you expect to win a dollar eighty which is sixty cents per dollar and if you watch the first three videos the keno multiplier when it's not selected keno multiplier with multiplier selected and the keno bullseye every one of those games have expected return of sixty cents onto the dollar and so that's roughly what you get here on all on most of the the spots you pick is six you expect to win 60 cents for every dollar bet now the seven nine and ten is a dollar ninety sum which means that it goes you know up to 65 cents so this one here if you play a nine spot game you expect to win 65 cents for every dollar you spend which is not a not a big improvement but the variance associated with winning or awards is much larger in this double bullseye and so the you know the possibility of winning large you know is a possibility you know it's unlikely but it's a possibility so that's kind of enticing so for me I think of Kino Lottery it, well, let me give you an analogy when you go to the movies you watch a movie and you have you're entertained you know it's fifteen dollars a ticket plus you have to get some popcorn and soda and after your hour and a half movie you leave you and you're entertained for an hour and a half and that's the way I think Kino is and I play Kino multiplier with no multiplier selected and I play the six spot game because the progressive jackpot bonus is usually a thousand or more which means your expected return is 70 cents or more per dollar you play but I know that this game is designed to take money but it's entertaining so for that hour hour and a half I spend less money than going to the movie but I get sort of a same excitement level out of it and that's why I play Kino Lottery but these are the expected awards here's the probability of a win for each of those spot games you play and the chance in one is just the reciprocal of the win let's look at some of these uh, theoretical derivations here so here's Keno double bullseye and we have to introduce some variables which we introduced the variable E 
which is ER plus EG. Now, EG is if you match the green bullseye. E stands for I. The ER we introduced in double bull or in kino bullseye, and that's if you match the red. Now, so the E is the addition of those two variables, and they're just zero and one values that take, E can take on are zero and one. So the probability of matching zero bullseyes is this, and it's how many spot game you play. So you pick, you know, there's 80 minus n ways you can pick a number and not match the bullseye, and then on the second draw there's 79 minus n over 79 ways you can not pick the bullseye. So this is the probability. And the probability of matching one bullseye is that you match the, the probability you match the red, not the green, plus the probability you do not match the red, but you match the green. And each and so that's where this two in the front comes. N is the probability you match n over eighty. And then there's seventy nine minus n plus one balls that you could pick to not match that second one. And that's so that's the probability. Probably matching two bullseyes is n over eighty, n minus one over seventy nine. Now the probability of M matches and no bullseyes is is this probability here. So you M matches, no bullseye. Then conditional probability says we can write it like this. And then this first piece is what we did in part one. That's a hypergeometric distribution. The second part. Now remember it's a little bit different. The probability that we don't match the bullseye. We know our N numbers and we know that we've matched M of them. So the probability of no matches in that is 20 minus m over 20, 19 minus m over 20. And that's it. That's the probability of not, it's probably of m matches and not matching either bullseye. Probability of m matches and matching one is this. You know, the conditional probability says we can write it like this. So this is the hypergeometric distribution from this first one, which we proved in video one. And then probably of one match, given that we know we've matched M of them, M of our N numbers, and it's this. And this two out front is because it's symmetric. We can match the red, not the green, plus not match the red and match the green. Here's the probability of M matches and matching both bullseye. Conditional probability says we can write it like this. That's the hypergeometric. And this is the probability that we match two bullseyes given that we know we've matched M out of our N. So the probability of a bullseye match is M over 20 and M minus 1 over 20. That means we've matched both of them. Now the expected war awards is just the, it's the prize times the probability of observing that prize summed over all possibilities. So there's the, the you know, PI was the prize that, that we, that we have M matches and no bullseye. RI is the probability that we have one bullseye match. GI was probably or the prize for two bullseyes. And then each one is times the probability of that occurrence happening. And it's summed over all possible values. So this is a triple sum, but it, they all go from zero to N. So you can write it under one sum if you want. And that's it. And that's the expected award for Kino Double Bullseye. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. I sure did. Please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.